Hello everyone, welcome on my YouTube channel. Today we are discussing about the query string collection in request object. Okay, the query string collection is used to retrieve the variable values in the HTTP query string. Okay, if you want to retrieve any variable's value in HTTP, okay, then this query string collection is used. If you want to retrieve variable value in the HTTP query string then this collection is used okay HTTP query string is specified by the values following the question mark okay so we are going to see the example how to retrieve this and a href link reference then my page is text.asp now tell that http query string is specified by the values following the question mark okay question mark the name of your page and the following question mark and whatever message you want to print over here on that particular variable this is query string I have to retrieve this one one particular this variable okay this is the example how to retrieve any particular query string well, okay in particular okay now one of the important note is that if you want to send large amount of data beyond the 100 kb then the request collect then the request dot query string collection is not used okay if you want to send this is the important point if you want to send large amount of data beyond 100 kb okay then request dot query string is not used this collection is not used okay so what is the syntax the syntax is that request dot query string the particular variable name that variable you want to retrieve then want to mention in that index this is the optional and the count this is also optional okay these two both are optional the variable is required always because you want to return that particular variable value okay so now we are directly going to see the example So going to the sublime text this is example i have done firstly okay here same thing you have to do is in view sec in view menu you have to select asp and asp you have to select html asp because you can you have you are combining the html language 
at the ASP. Okay. That's why you have to select the, that one. Okay. Then you have to write this one in anchor tag a particular page name. The same page name I have to written over here. Then the message hello. I have to retrieve this particular variable value. Message I have to retrieve hello. Okay. Whenever I am going to clicking on this, the message hello is printed over here. The Where SP code is what? Response dot right. I have to retrieve this particular string. All the string. Okay, not particular the variable value. I have to retrieve this all the string. Then the request dot query symptom. My output is what? Whenever I am going to clicking on this particular link, this output is coming. Okay, so now we are going in the Internet Explorer. Then the paste. And the particular file name. What is this? The X3. Okay. So this link is available. Whenever I am going to clicking on this particular link, this whole message is what saying over here. Oh message is equal to hello. Whatever I am writing on that particular HTTP request or particular page. Okay, see. Okay. Then another example is if I want to retrieve any form collection value or any form element value, then how you can retrieve? The same. But here is the get method is used. Okay. You have to use the get method. Mention the get method. Okay. I have to retrieve first name, middle name and last name. Same syntax is coming over here response dot write request dot query string that I have written on the particular text box this all the values are written okay so what is that output is so another page in that particular folder name and ex5 sorry ex5 particular page name dot asp okay this one so see, first name is, I am giving Kiran, but okay, submit it, so see, this value is written, okay, this is my output, okay, thank you for watching my video, if you like my video, then share and subscribe my YouTube channel, thank you.